Hi everybody, welcome back to AZF Skate and Rink as we get ready for the Stoughton Brockton team to take on the visiting Attleboro team out of the Hockamock. Coach, another young team in the same shoes you are, you know, get, trying to find their groove. What are you guys trying to push in practice to, for this game today? We're trying to get some offense. We've been shut out eight times and we've lost by one goal. We've only had one goal four other games, so last time we lost three nothing to them. So offense. So now what about um, what, uh, Chris Andre State? Stood on his head, yeah. coming off the flow. Is he in that tonight? No, it's uh, it's Ryan uh, Spano. He's actually my number one goalie, Ryan Spano. Okay. And how are we doing for injuries? Uh, my leading scorer is out tonight, sick with the, he's got a virus. So well, that's it. We'll have to pick on him later. Like, no, night either. Oh, okay. Well, coach, all the best. Best of luck. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with the Attleboro coach right after this. I will always be ready for every storm and disaster that threatens my community. I will always be there to protect my neighbors and my country. We are the Army National Guard. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about part-time service. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Now I, have the privilege to be, now I have the privilege to be here with Coach Homer of Attleboro Bombardiers. Coach, coming into this game, basically two young teams going at it. What did you try to push in practice to get ready for today? Um, pretty much what we've pushed all year. Um, you know, we, we have a fairly young team, so there's a lot of new guys on the team. Uh, we try to get a philosophy across of, you know, working hard every shift, um, you know, getting the puck deep, forcing other teams to come, you know, 200 feet, not playing half ice with them, uh, and protecting the house in our defensive end. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's been a slow process because uh, you've got guys coming from different programs, coming up to the high school program. So, you know, joining into our philosophy can be a, you know, a big change for some of these kids. How are we doing for injuries coming into today? Uh, it's, you know, it's, Knock on wood, so far so good. I mean, we've had a couple guys with the flu, uh, but as far as injuries go, we've been, uh, be able to, we, we've been able to uh, avoid the injury bug. We do a lot of work in the off season, uh, in the fall, the summer, the spring. So, you know, our assistant coach, Drew Fernberg, is their you know, trainer. So, you know, that helps. That helps a lot. So when we come in the season, uh, these guys are, you know, physically fit to play the tough game of hockey. Very good. Coach, all the best. Best of luck. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're Appreciate welcome. It. All right, we'll be, we'll be back with the puck drop right after this. Hi everybody, welcome to AZF Ice Arena. I'm Dominic Damiano, and I'm here with the rest of the Brockton Community Access Sports crew. Of course, the big man himself, Mike the Postman Simmons, as we get ready for Stoughton Brockton hockey. And as you saw in our post-game, uh, excuse me, our pre-game interview, we had the privilege of talking to Coach Homer, basically in the same situation with Stoughton Brockton, a young team playing out of the Hockamock Conference, looking to try to get their wheels back under them, but like with all young teams, and you play in a very, very tough conference, as in the Hockamock, out of the Keenan division, it doesn't get any easier. But they come in here, as you can see, they're in their blue shirts with the with the silver numbers and white trim, and there they are, y'all. And as the PA announcer mentioned, the officials 
We're underway. Stand by for Stoughton. Brockton ice hockey. And the faceoff won by Brockton. Played off the back of the board. Stoughton trying to recover. That was McDonough initially. Now they want up. There's McDonough again. As he tries to wind it up initially to Tajerski. Kept in by Brockton. As an off shot by O'Connell goes wide. The goalie knocks it. Now around the net just like that. We're back underway. Here comes Attleboro on the rush. That's knocked in the Brockton end. Stoughton, the SB end. Kept in by Attleboro. Now Attleboro trying to set something up. Nice poke check in front by Brockton as McNutley. Now Brockton will wind it up. There's Westerland initially broken up at center ice by the captain. On oh, ice, fans on the shot as Murray really couldn't get anything on it. Now it's center ice. Right in front of the Stoughton Brockton bench. Now in their own end, Adabo trying to get it out. There's Blees. Blees now his shot wide. And here comes Stoughton Brockton, but they're poke checked out at their own blue line, kept in by Attleboro. Now to the right, the goaltender for tonight for Stoughton Brockton is Spano, Ryan Spano in that for Brock, Stoughton Brockton. Played in the corner as the big captain tries to make his, as Birmingham makes his presence known. They get it around Spano. And Stoughton Brockton, they flip it up as O'Connell flips it out. Go all the way down to the goaltender. We'll give you the goaltender for Attleboro in a couple seconds here at center ice. That's not almost knocked in. Attleboro trying to regroup. They do on the fly. This Flynn off balance shot takes a knuckle puck bounce. And now there's Attleboro now. There's Garney, Graney now in the corner. To Spano, from Spano. There's Manetti. Out in front, nice save by Spano. Now behind the net. Atterborough adding the pressure. Brockton trying to get it out. Atterborough, they'll wind it up again in their own end. There's Flynn again. Center ice, nobody there. All the way down to Greenspoon. He wraps it around behind Spano, tries to get it out. Kept in by Atterborough. McDonough initially knocked in behind the net. St SB regroups it is McGlun. McGlulin, excuse me. Now here comes Brockton with a rush. Young coming down the side. Trying to set something up at the top of the point. McGlulin shot. Oh, he almost had one. And it just and the defenseman clears it. Brockton almost got on the board on that one. Now on the break. Three on three. Can't get anything on it. As Parker fanned on the shot to the right of Spano. 12 minutes left in this first period. Now they box, try to box Brock. The quick shot. Save Spano. Nice as he takes Drajerski's shot. We'll have a face off to Spano's left. 11, officially 11.53 left in the first. No score from Asiath. And on the face off, looks like we're going to have Murray. And for Brockton, it was Young. One by Adam, a quick shot, redirected, blocked in front by Brockton, Bro Stoughton, SB, they do that really well. Now Marshall, Marshall trying to wind it up out of his own, and then he gets it over to McDonough. McDonough tries to hit a, someone trying to fly down the side, that was Parker, takes off the board, but Spano plays it off the board, and he holds on right in front of him, right in, right in front of the uh, net. Officially 11.34 left, we'll have a face off to Spano's right now. Again, no score. Faceoffs won by Attleboro. Attleboro doing their best to keep it as a quick shot. Blocked in front by SB. And now trying to get it warming up on this Flynn again. Flynn. Back and forth they go. D to D on that. Great job by Brockton on the back check. Trying to slow Attleboro down. They're doing a good job. Now broken up. Great. Great job by Young at the Attleboro Blue Line. Now Attleboro, they flip it in. That's knocked down by Birmingham. Now here comes Brockton on a rush. Trying to keep it in. Attleboro trying to keep, trying to get something going. Brockton adding some def, some good pressure now. In the Attleboro and in front, not much on that pass. 
as O'Connell tried to get something going. Now for the far side, there's a quick wrist shot wide, but kept in by Bro Stoughton Brockton. Now flipped. And there's no offsides. That played off the boards. Good job by Stoughton Brockton. Able to clear that out. Approaching the 10 minute mark left in the first period. No score. That's flipped into the Attleboro and Nope, now played back this way towards us in the Stoughton Brockton end. Winding up behind his own net. That's Young. Tried to go the other way. Attleboro doing a good job keeping it in. In front, oh shoot, score! Off the rebound, I don't think Spano saw that. And I believe that was Blease, number 10, who got the, the rebound off the initial save by Spano. And we'll get the official word from the PA announcer. At the 9.56 mark, Attleboro takes a one nothing lead. Now on a rush, here comes out of bar again. Save Spano. Assisted by number 10, time of the goal, 956. That's nine from 10. So Blis will get the credit for the assist, and Granny will get the credit for the score. One by Attleboro. There's a quick shot. Well, Hits a stick, goes well over Spano. Attleboro doing a good job trying to keep it in. Now the captain, trying to work it out of his own end. That was Mick Lulin. Attleboro on a rush again. Behind the back pass. Be a little fancy on that one, nobody there. Attleboro trying to work it, in, work it around. McDonough's quick shot, that's wide of Spano. One nothing Attleboro here in this non-league game. That's flipped, broken up, great job by Brock. And there's Hearn on that break up at center ice. Of course now in the Brockton end, Stoughton Brockton end. Flipped. All the way down is number three. Marshall winds it up coming out of his own net. Tries to open up the game all the way down to Spano, and he'll smartly hold on. 8.34, officially left in this first period. one nothing Bombardiers. As the Knight Boxers trying to get their offense together here. One by Brockton, flipped out, out of ball. Quickly flips it in to the right of Spano. Attleboro adding the pressure. Now Flynn initially knocked it in. Attleboro's changing on the fly. They add the pressure. Kept in again by the Bombardiers. SB just trying to get something going here. And the speed of the Bombardiers is really working to their advantage early, excuse me, midway through this first period. Now trying to come out on their own end. That's poke checked away. White tried to get us something. Tried to get something going. That's poke checked away. Pass in front of Spano. Nobody there for the Bombardiers. And now coming out, trying to get something going is Crookshank. Now Stoughton Brockton, the captain again. Birmingham trying to get something going. He's poke checked off the play. Adelbar does a good job keeping him in. There's a slap shot wide. Now to the left of Spano. Behind the net, that's Murray. On him is Koch. But Murray gets works off that one. Trying to set a play, the captain knocked down. Shot in front off the far side. All the way down, Parker shot, he fanned on it. Taken by Murray again. Trying to hit Parker, uh, Murray, excuse me, Parker again. Quick shot, saved, Spano a beauty. A beauty, Murray, fan Murray on that one. That goes all the way down and Bro Stoughton Brockton will smartly change it up on the fly. Now Brockton, oh nice move. 
in front shot, wide, oh great try, great try by O'Connell. Here comes O'Connell again now. His quick shot, that's blocked. Brockton, Stoughton, Brockton trying to add their, ver their pressure now. Now flying down, there's Grushik, wide, nice back check by the Knight Boxers. As Kenny Young did a great job breaking up that two on one. Now here comes Young, flying down the right side. He flips it wide to the goaltender, works his way all the way around, takes an Attleboro bounce. Now it's center ice. And that's flipped out. Nope, kept in, excuse me, kept in by Attleboro. Attleboro adding the pressure now. Now it's out. And there's McNutley. Try to get something going, but Attleboro regroups and knocks it to the to the left of Spano. Now Flan he loses that puck. In front, nobody there. And that's flipped up, but knocked down by McDonough. He's able to regroup. Thought we can have a hand pass on that one, nothing. Young, he gets checked off the play. Getting up slow is Young. Now Attleboro. Five minutes left to go in the first period. Flip to the right of Spano. Stoughton Brockton trying to regroup. Attleboro they keep it in as McDonough takes whack, but now cleared by Stoughton Brockton. And iced. 440 left in this first period. one nothing Bombardiers. We will have a face-off to Spano's left. All right, so here we go. One by Brockton, great job by the, by the Knight Boxers. But Attleboro regroups in the corner. Attleboro, there's a, a shot redirected and Spano holds on on the backhand as number 18, Manetti tried to get a backhand but he, Spano saw it all the way. 4.31 left in the first. Nothing there, and knocked out by Stoughton Brockton. Here comes Attleboro again. Nice job by the Knight Boxers, slowing him down. There's a big check. In the corner, quick wrist shot. Spano, oh, what a, that was redirected. He was able to get a glove on it. Lost it for a second, but was able to hold on. 4.09. Left in the first period, one nothing Attleboro. Face off to Spano's left. Quick shot blocked in front. And there's another shot shooting the score. And at the 4.02 mark, Attleboro takes a two nothing lead. Let's see who they're going to get it credit to, credit on the score. I think it's going to be Zach Pierce. Face off one by Attleboro. All right, so there you go. Pierce gets credit for the goal. Attleboro still adding their pressure as they try to get something going. Now broken up. Now Birmingham, the captain, shows his authority. He takes somebody out in the far boards. Attleboro trying to regroup at center right now. Here comes the captain. Flying down the side, quick shot, pad save. And that's Piazza, who's in net for Attleboro. Now Attleboro trying to, re trying to get something going at center ice. And they just calmly flip it in. All the way behind Spano. 
Here comes Stoughton Brockton as they try to get something going. That was Mahoney initially. That slowed down and regrouped Attleboro now at center ice. Flip to the left of Spano. And he smartly holds on. Officially 2.44 left in this first period. Again, 2 nothing Attleboro. We will have a face-off two. Spano's right. As both teams change it up, get some fresh skaters out there. Flipped around to the back. That was Greenspoon. Greenspoon over to Krushank. And kept in by the Knight Boxes. Oh, great move by there in the corner, but he's double teamed by the Bombardiers. He falls down. Nice try by O'Connell. Now the Bombardiers trying to come out of the run. They're flying. And right there on the defenseman, the big man Greenspoon simply flips it out. Now the Bombardiers trying to regroup behind their own net. They really like to open up the ice. That slowed down. And a quick shot wide. As Granny almost tried another bid for another goal. Now Granny again. Over to Flynn. Flynn shot. That's redirected. Goes off. Of, that goes off. Krush, Crookshank. I'll get Mr. Crookshank's name right. I promise. Neither, neither, neither or less, it goes high off the net. We'll have a face off to Spano's left. At the 147 mark left in the period. Now in the corner, Atterborough adding the pressure. There's a quick shot. Hits an Atterborough play in front and smartly holds on. As Manitti, he got the worst of that. Quick snapshot, 133 left in the first. One by Stoughton Brockton. They're trying to get something out. Attleboro doing a great job keeping it in. And Westerlin smartly plays it off the board and clears it. Now Attleboro McDonough trying to regroup. He tries to get one of the guys shrieking down the ice. Almost had a takeaway. We do. Quick shot. Save by Piazza. One minute left to play in the period. Knocked in by Attleboro. And we're going to have an ice. Officially 53.7 tenths of a second left. In this first period, we will have a face-off to Piazza's left. <whistles> Want to try to get an interview here at the end of the first period by Coach Fitzgerald. Brockton, Stoughton Brockton trying to keep it in, flipped. But not out. Now Attleboro re regrouping. Knocked down. Flipped by Murray to the right of Spano. Attleboro trying to basically do it like a square type of play where they get everybody in the box. Now flipped out. Great job. But that looks like it might be iced. And it is. Officially 15.3 tenths of a second left in this first period. Face off one by Attleboro. Attleboro trying to keep it in. Brockton finally flips it out. Birmingham, great. Now there's a quick shot. And letting one go. Crookshank. Crookshank Nice job by that big man. As Piazza hold on, talking to the official for a moment, I'm not sure why. We will have a face off to the right of the Attleboro goaltender with 5.2 tenths of a second. One by Attleboro. 
And that's it. That's your parried with your score. Attleboro 2, Stoughton Brock to nothing. We're going to get an interview with the coach. We'll be right back. Hi, everybody. I'm with Coach Brophy at the end of one. Coach, I know it's not what you wanted, 2 nothing, but the guys are showing more than a step in this game. A little bit. We can still get to the puck a little bit better. we got to do a better job clearing the zone, uh, getting the puck out of our own end, giving the goalie a little bit more of an opportunity to see some clearer pucks and maybe generate a little offense. One thing I've noticed that the guys definitely pay attention to you about blocking the shots in front of the net. Is that something you guys always try to push? Yeah, we're trying to really work on stressing, you know, uh, protecting the front of the net, protecting the goalie, making sure everything's staying outside. Um, blocking the shots is huge. makes the goalie's job a lot easier. Right, Coach, best of luck in the second. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Job, All right, we'll be back with the drop of the puck in the second period right after this. Since the moment you were born, I've made a thousand wishes. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. For all of the things you may one day do, do play and laugh, do win and lose, do learn from your mistakes, and challenge yourself to grow. Do not be afraid, or make decisions based in fear. Do it all with confidence and with kindness and strength. Do call your mom and ask her for advice. And All always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, Thank you. what matters to me is that you keep doing and love you always, Mom. Hi everybody, welcome back to AZF Ice Arena. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Mike, the postman Simmons, and the rest of the Brockton community, Access Sports TV crew, as we get ready to give you second period action. Right now, the Bombardiers are up 2 0 with goals by Pierce and Granny. And here we go as we get ready to start the second period. And we're underway. And that's Marshall. Now, Marshall to McDonough. McDonough trying to get out. Brockton trying to keep it in, but Polk checked away. Now Birmingham, the captain, he'll wrap it around, spin it to Piazza's net. He calls Piazza. Actually, McDonough called off Piazza not to play the puck. Now here comes Attleboro trying to come out of their own end. Behind Spano, flying on the side, that's Murray. Murray gets to the top to Drujerski. Drujerski, excuse me. Ripped around, flip blocked, save. Spano, nice job. By the Stoughton Brockton Golton. And now here comes Stoughton Brockton. He gets actually triple team the one side. But they flip it in, and Stoughton Brockton will try to change it up on the fly. Now Adelbar trying to come out. There's McDonough right down center ice. But he's po checked away by O'Connell initially. Now here comes Stoughton Brockton. And that's poke checked away. Now Attleboro again. Bliss, quick shot. Nice blocker saved by Spano, and he redirects it into the net. We'll have a faceoff. 13-42 left in the second period. 2-0 Attleboro. Both teams coming into this contest with the identical records. There's your shot. Spano didn't see it for a minute, went off his shoulder. Nice save by Spano, but rebound goes in favor of Attleboro. Now Brockton trying to regroup. Stoughton Brockton trying to regroup. That's flipped, but not out. Kept in by Attleboro. Flipped around behind Spano. Now McLuhan, he gets played off that puck. And that backhand saved Spano. And now Stoughton Brockton trying to cut it out, but Adabar regroups. And there's a nice play by Stoughton Brockton flying down the side. That was Alisi. Now, just like that, we'll have a stoppage in play. It actually was flipped in out of play. With 12.50 left, we'll have a face-off right outside the Stoughton-Brockton zone. 
Face off one by Attleboro. As McDonough flips it around. Attleboro trying to keep it as a quick shot. Point blank save, Spano, great job. He held the fort on that one. Now Attleboro trying to add to the, there's a backhand. And Spano can't find it, and then he finds the second attempt, and he's able to hold on. Now 12.26 left in this second period. Like Coach Dan Marks said, they're going with their number one goaltender. And here comes Brockton trying to get out of the own end. Coming down the side, Attleboro trying to slow him down. And we'll have a stoppage in play. We'll have a face off right at center ice. Face off one by Brockton. And the boxers. As Birmingham knocks it into the Attleboro zone behind Piazza. Attleboro very quick, very fast. But Brockton poke checks, they slow him down. Now here come the boxes. Here comes their threat. It's McNulty. He gets off a of backhand. That's wide. Off the board played by Attleboro. Now Parker now. That goes off a shin, but it stays on side. Now, Crookshank, there's a shot top of the point. That's wide to the far point, excuse me. Attleboro, again, in the Bro Stoughton Brockton end. Shot wide. Back and forth they go, in front. Nobody there, Stoughton Brockton picks it up. They try to get out of the end, it's both checked away and kept in the Stoughton Brockton end. Now right in front of the Attleboro branch, fighting for the puck, flipped. Attleboro trying to regroup as Flynn tries to wind it up. Goes D to D and they flip it in the Stoughton Brockton end. Attleboro again, quick shot, glove save. As McDonough, Liam McDonough lets Arista go. Spano saw her all the way and is able to hold on. 10.47 left in this second period. Again, 2 nothing, Attleboro. As the Hockamock team playing out of the Keenan division, again, from the Hockamock in this non-conference matchup between Stoughton and Brockton that play out of the brand new Southeast Conference here in the MIAA. Now Marshall, Marshall. Flips it in and Stoughton Brockton flips it back out as McLuhan taken by Attleboro. There's a quick shot. That might have been off size anyway if he scored. Now Attleboro. That's flipped. Kept in by Wreck. Now Stoughton Brockton trying to add their pressure. Attleboro gets a bounce, flying down. It's a two on two. Backhand, Spano, nice save. Off the shoulder, that's like his third save off the shoulder today. Now Attleboro, they try to box in the Stoughton Brockton team. Quick wrist shot low by McDonough and Spano sees it all the way, he'll hold on. With 9.49 left in this second period. Again, two nothing Attleboro. Stoughton Brockton will eventually get their rhythm together and get this offense going. Face off one by Attleboro. That's flipped, not out. And now the Bombardiers. Playing this certain type of offense where they box in their opponents in their own zone by using the athletic ability and the speed. Checked down hard in the corner. That was Mahoney. He gets up slow. But he is up. Falling down for a moment was an Attleboro player. Attleboro keeps it in the Stoughton Brockton end. Off balance shot. Attleboro adding the rush. Flipped all the way around. 
There's a quick snapshot. And Spano got caught leaning to his right. Puck was knocked down. Brockton, Stoughton Brockton does an excellent job of knocking down the loose pucks in front of the net for their goaltender. But again, Spano was able to reposition himself and hold on. So we'll have a face off to his left. 9.02 left in this first period. Again, 2 nothing, Attleboro. One by Stoughton Brockton. Attleboro's there with their... There's a quick shot and blocked in front. Never made it to Spano. Another great job by that defense, that back-checking defense of Stoughton Brockton. Attleboro keep it, still keeping it in. Flipped all the way around Spano. Now over to his right. As the captain, uh, Murray tried to get something going on the far side now behind the net. Murray again, the captain. His quick shot wired of Spano. And kept in by McDonough. Now here comes Stoughton Brockton. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Two on two up there, Harry. Coming down the side, trying to make a move. He gets hauled down, no call. And they flip it around. Now blocked. Here comes McDonough. He's off sides by about a body length. And we'll have a stoppage in play and we'll have a face off right outside the Stoughton Brockton zone. And Coach Homer was not happy with that offside call. You could see him getting a little upset at that one. So face off again right outside of the Stoughton Brockton zone. One by Attleboro, the faceoff, one by Attleboro, coming quick, quick shot. Oh, nice job, and he's checked late. But Spano's able to hold on. 7.57 now left in the second period. We will have a faceoff to the goaltender's right. Faceoff this time, one by Stoughton Brockton. Cleared, but not out. Kept in by Attleboro. In front, try to do a redirect on a cutting out of our play. Nobody there. Now Stoughton Brockton, they're trying to get their rush going. They're slowed down by the great back checking of Attleboro. Kept in, in the Stoughton Brockton end. Still going at it. It's a two on one. Now finally out behind the net. Now Brockton starting to push their own weight around standing up for themselves but in, in that result for a moment resulted in a Brockton rush but poke checked away and still kept in the Brock Stoughton Brockton end approaching seven minutes left in the second period two nothing Attleboro behind Spano there's a check missed Attleboro is gonna have to regroup and that's flipped in And trying to get it out all the way at center ice. Stoughton Brockton now. In front, nobody there as Andre tried to find somebody. There's nobody there. That's flipped in again, just like that. Back in the Stoughton Brockton and flipped around. Pass in front, but there's nobody there. And now fighting in the corner is Flannery. He's checked off to play. They try to go to the other side. Trying to get out of their own and that's, Mc, that's McDonough. Trying to find someone streaking down the middle. That was Manitti. And now Birmingham. Birmingham in the corner. Trying to help out his Stoughton Brockton cause. Trying to get it out of the end. Kept in again by Attleboro. There's a shot, oh nice pad save by Spano, flipped. That could be iced, and it is. 5.44 left in the second period. Again, two nothing Attleboro. We will have a face off to Spano's left. And here we go, face off, one by Stoughton Brockton as uh, Krushank initially had it out, now Brockton. Oh, and we're going to have a stoppage in play. We'll have a face-off in the Brockton end again. They actually have a face-off to Spano's left. 
Now down to 536 as I knock the cameraman over. Almost. Left out. Oh, flying down the side is a chance. Here's O'Connell. He's, oh, poke chucked off the play at the last minute by Attleboro. Trying to keep it in, O'Connell. He has help now. He has McNulty. Top of the point. Can't get nothing on it. Goes over McGoolin, McGoolin stick. Attleboro trying to regroup. Brockton showing some life here late in the second period. Now flipped, now flipped in by Attleboro. Stoughton Brockton now trying to get it out of their own end. And regrouping, that's Westerland. He tries to knock it around. There's a shot on Spano, save. Back and forth they go, there's a quick shot. That's well over, no, Spano never saw it. It was knocked down initially in front of him. Now to the right of Spano, Attleboro trying to, trying to get something going, a little give and go. Trying to, you know, square in, square in the Brockton defense. But every time they try to take a shot, Brockton's there. Stoughton Brockton is there to knock it down. Far shot. And here comes McDonough. McDonough, oh, he lost the shot. Crookshank save. Oh, nice try as Crookshank had a nice opportunity there. Kyle Crookshank and Piazza holds on, holds the fort point blank. And I think the referee just waved at us. <laughs> so, Mike the Postman Simmons I'm Dominic Damian the rest of the Brockton Community Access Sports TV crew as we give you this game late in the second period approaching the four minute mark left in this second period Brockton showing some life here in the second now coming out on the fly that was Bliss shot oh save Spano rebound save again oh great job and the goaltender holds on 351. I have no idea what Coach Mark said to those guys when they were cycling in and off the fly on the line change, but they have definitely showed some zip in their step here in the late in the second period. Now Adabar again keeping it in. And that's flipped. Flying down, there's Elise. There's Flannery now in front, nobody there. He tried to set up the, the trailer wreck, but it takes an Attleboro bounce. Backhand, nobody there. Spano holding down the fort. Rebound taken by Flannery. He tries to clear it, he does. And that's Elise slowing it down. Nice job by him, but it's they're gonna have to get the guys off on sides. And Andre didn't know he was off sides. Kept it by Stoughton Brockton. Flying to the side is Birmingham. Birmingham looking for someone in front of that. He's unfortunately poke checked off that puck. Here comes Adabar coming out of the zone. Adabar, it's a three on three. That's, again, nice job by Stoughton Brockton slowing down that Adabar rush. We have definitely seen a a hop in their step for the Stoughton Brockton night boxes here late in the second. Officially 241 left. Again, 2 0 Attleboro. Face off won by the Bombardiers, but Stoughton Brockton, the night boxers, trying to get it going. Attleboro regrouping as they try to wind it up by the run and they flip it in the, the Stoughton Brockton zone. Now Attleboro, this great job by Stoughton Brockton. And there's McDonough now, behind the Stoughton Brockton. He tries it back in, Spano sets the door on that backhand attempt. Now to the right of Spano, thrown behind the net. Flip but not out as McLuhan tried to get something going. Now McLuhan pins the, pot, the big forward as Brockton is trying to get it out of their own end. Attleboro trying to regroup, that's flipped, but not out in front, takes an Attleboro bounce, but Brockton's there to regroup. Now it's center ice, 
Here comes Attleboro. They flip it in because they know the rough sides. Now it gives a break maybe for the boxers. For the night boxers, that flipped in. The night boxers, they will change it up with 125 left in the second period. Oh, Crookshank with a great back check. He flips it in behind Piazza. Coming down the other side, that was McNutley. Stoughton Brockton kept it again. Oh, Birmingham had it, but he couldn't knock it down. It takes an Attleboro bounce. In the Stoughton Brockton, a quick shot. Spano with a nice save, point blank. There's a quick shot, score off the, with a minute left. And that looks like that's gonna be uh, Drujic. Owen Drujic, number 21, we will get the official announcement. With 56.7 tenths of a second, Attleboro extends their lead to three nothing. Now Birmingham. So Drew Jix assisted by McDonough. Attleboro again adding their pressure. And Spano smartly holds on. We have definitely seen excellent pressure, excellent pursuit late in the second period by the night boxes. Now Brockton trying to get it out of the run. That's flipped. That'll go all the way around Piazza, and they're going to say it's iced at the 24.7 tenths of a second mark. Left in this second period, 3 nothing, Attleboro. Again, a face off the Spano's right. There's a shot blocked in front. Stoughton Brockton, they do a great job. Now here come the Knight Boxers trying to get out of their own end. And an excellent, excellent back check by Attleboro. Stoughton Brockton trying to regroup. The long pass. And that will end the period. With your score, Attleboro three, Stoughton Brockton nothing. We have an interview coming up. So don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Asia Frank. I'm with Alyssa Alvidi. She is the manager of the Blue Bombardiers, the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Uh, nice nice uh, second period for your team so far. Yeah, really good. Um, I think that this is one of our better games in terms of getting a lot of shots on goal and um, actually being in the other team zone. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it take to be a manager for a high school hockey team? What does that consist of? Um, well, it's actually more fun than anything else. Um, so my biggest priority is to like film the games for them and everything. Just make sure that they can all see it for the coaches and everything. I also I bake them cupcakes and I was stuff. Say that. I, I was <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just try to take care of whatever they need for me that day. Um, sometimes I even have filmed like their practices, tryouts, and everything. Just there as like an extra person to help. Now, is this something you want to take later at college, something like this? Yeah, um, so I'm looking into something either with business and management and hoping to minor in sports management. So what are the chances of me and uh, the postman Simmons grabbing two cupcakes? <laughs> I have an extra. Oh, cool, so we'll split it. Thank you, it was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. All right, we'll be back with the third period right after this. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me in my classes when I must give attention to detail to the task at hand. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting nationalguard.com. Hi everybody, welcome back to AZF Ice Arena. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by the man, the myth, my good buddy, and the produ producer and director of this game tonight. And I'm referring none other than Mike, the postman Simmons. And we get ready for third period action as the Stoughton-Brockton 
Knight Boxes are currently down 3 nothing to the visiting non-conference team out of the Hockamock Keenan Division, the Blue Bombardiers of Attleboro. And again, welcome. We hope you enjoyed this production powered by Brockton Community Access Sports TV. And we're underway in the third period. One by Stoughton Brockton behind Spano. Attleboro, very aggressive. As they try to square them in, they read it well as Westerlin tries to get something going. He loses the puck, he's back checked. With that being said, there's Murray now. Murray trying to get something going. The captain, a flip, redirected. Spano sees it, lost the puck. Crookshank had it, but he gets poke checked off by Murray too. Now Attleboro, McDonough with the shot in front. That's blocked in front by Stoughton Brockton, but Attleboro keeps it in. Back and forth they go. Again, Attleboro. They throw it into the right behind Spano, and he smartly holds off as Ryan Murray lost his blade and ended up sliding behind the net. Officially 14.06, just underway here in the third period. 3 0 Attleboro. Again, a non conference game. We'll have a face off to Spano's right. Face off one by Attleboro. Oh, nice job. Nice read by Wreck. As he tries to get something going for Stoughton Brockton. Losing his stick and checked off the play. That was Elise. Just like that, Attleboro, Flynn now in front, nobody there. Flip behind Spano. There's Grujinx. But Attleboro keeps it in. Now Grujinx's brother behind the net. That's poke checked away. Trying to get rid of, they can't, kept in by Flynn of Attleboro, the defenseman. Tipped. And then back checked out. Nope, but kept in again. I thought they had a Flynn with a shot. That's blocked. Again, Attleboro keeps in. There's a blocker save by Spano over behind the net. And finally cleared by the night box. Is approaching 13 minutes left. Again, just underway here in the third. And it's iced. The official mark is 12.56. In that icing, we will have a face-off to Piazza's right. Face-off won by Attleboro. Flip behind the net. Attleboro trying to regroup, trying to wind it up. That's Manitti. Tries to work it all the way around to Marshall. Right at center ice, there is Stoughton Brockton. As Young risks one in from center ice. Brockton doing a great job. Keep trying to keep it in. It's not. It's still in. Behind P Piazza. Flipped. And now here comes Attleboro on the break. In the zone. Quick shot. Wide of Spano. Now in front of the net. There's Mahoney. He's, his attempt is checked away. And then wristed in by McDonough regrouping. That was Young initially in front. Nothing there blocked in front. Great job by Stoughton Brockton. As they switch it up on the fly. And that is the first time in high school history I think I've ever seen that. Wow. I've never, see, I've never seen that before. We will have a face-off. Piazza's okay, but Piazza's a big kid. He's got to be at least 6'1", six, 6'1". Six six With that being said, we will have a face-off outside the zone. One by Stoughton, Brockton flipped in. I think it hit a line, the linesman. And now flipped in. 
to the Stoughton Brockton end. Taking it right there. That's Durjinks in front. Nobody there. Pierce thought he had a shot. He fanned on it, but he keeps it in. Now behind the Brock, Stoughton Brockton end. Flipped all the way to the other side. Murray. Top of the point, takes a wrist shot. Hits about three different players, but it takes a Stoughton Brockton bounce. Now in the out of zone, kept in by O'Connell. Behind Piazza, Re Attleboro now. They regroup, they try to open the ice. It's a two on two on a break. In front, takes a crazy bounce right in front of Spano. But is able to keep it in. Backhand away, all that just like that. The captain finally picks it up. McLuhan. And we'll go all the way down and we will have a icing. Stoppage in play, 10-29 left in the game and a 3-0. Attleboro lead. Levis face off to Spano's left. That's flipped. And we'll have another icing. And the stoppage in play occurs at the 10.23 mark in the third period. Face off the Spano's left. One. Here's Birmingham now. Birmingham a backhand. Tries to get it out. Top of the point, quick shot. Oh, nice glove save. As McDonough let one go, but Spano flashes the glove with the big left hand and holds on. That was at the 10-11 mark. McDonough tries to pass in front. That was Drojink initially. Now behind the net, that's Grant Greening. Takes a Stoughton Brockton bounce. McDonough's gonna try to regroup behind his own net. Passes behind the net. Knocked down by Stoughton Brock. And Attleboro trying to regroup. Now Crookshank. He flips it in behind Piazza. Piazza tries to slow the puck down for his teammates. Attleboro now. Stoughton Brock adding the pressure now. Forces Attleboro to open it up and take a risk. Now on a break flying out. There's Greeny. He makes a play. And Spano holds on to the fort. Again, short side. Shot and the score. And Granny gets his second goal of the game. Awful loose puck rebound. And Adobro takes a 4 nothing lead. Officially 9-19 left. Attleboro changes up their line. All right, now Stoughton Brockton trying to get it out of their own end. And now it's out. Trying to force Attleboro to regroup. Stoughton Brockton adding late pressure here. Attleboro just opens it up. And we have an offsides. Officially 8.56 left in this game. And we'll have a face off to Piazza's right. Now in the break, here come the Bombardiers. They flip it in, knocked down. In front of the net, not a smart play. And now coming to play, there's McNulty. McNulty has a break, flying down the side, quick shot. 
And Piazza holds on. He flashes his leather glove and he's able to hold on and we'll have a face off to a face off to his left. His right, excuse me. Our left. 825 left in the game. There's a quick shot knocked down, redirected, and, and Piazza holds smartly holds on. Quick shot won by Brockton. Nice snapshot by McNulty. And again, Piazza holds on. Brockton showing life like they did at the end, or halfway through the second period. There's a quick turnaround shot. That's blocked. Knocked down by Attleboro. Knocked away. Not out. Kept in. There's a pad save by Piazza. Brockton showing some offense now, folks. Again, they did it in the second period. Now trying to keep it in, there's another quick. There's a quick shot. Tried to redirect in front, and, but played off good by Attleboro. Pass in front. Now in the Stoughton Brockton end. And it's iced. Officially 7.56 left in this, in the game. Again, 4 nothing. 7.26, I added 30 seconds. 7.26. Thank God for Mike the Postman Simmons, that's all I can say. Quick shot blocked in front, nice drive by Birmingham. Now Attleboro, quick snapshot, that's wide of Spano. Just trying to get it out, Birmingham clears it up. Trying to hit Hearn. Attleboro trying to regroup. Birmingham knocked it down, lost from any regroups, gets it over to Hearn, tried to get it up. Hearn tried to get up to Birmingham, but Attleboro knocks it in the, the Stoughton Brockton zone, quick shot. And Spano smartly holds on. Okay, folks, 646 officially left in the game. Again, 4-0 Attleboro hitting the third period. Now Attleboro regrouping. Now Attleboro in a rush, trying to come out of their own end. Flying down into the Stoughton Brockton, flying down the side, that's Drujic's in front. Excellent job by the Brockton defense, that's tipped away. There's Flynn, save Spano. <coughs> on the back end, excuse me, in front. In the traffic, another save by Spano, another save! Short side. Six minutes left in the period. Now Westerlin, that's flipped in by Brockton. Birmingham tried to get out, it's blocked. In transition, here, come the here comes the night boxers. And they'll smartly change it up on the fly. 5.35 left in the game. And now Crookshank, he tries to back in at center ice as he comes off the bench. But Attleboro, nice poke check on that play. And that was Greenspoon. He flips it and ices it. We will have a face off to Spano's left. Officially 720 left in the game. Four nothing Blue Bombardiers. 520. I'll make up my own time zone now. <laughs> Quick turnaround shot wide of Spano. I'll blame the cold weather, coach. Flipped around, kept in by Attleboro. Now Brockton, as Crookshank had it, 
He flips it out, tries to knock it down at center as he takes on two Bombardiers. Now the Bombardiers regroup, flying inside the Stoughton Brockton end. And just knocked in by Ward. Regrouped by Stoughton Brockton. Now he lost control of the puck and Ward came back off that. Now Ward in the corner. He has help by Granny. Krushank in the corner. Stoughton Brockton trying to get it out. There's Crookshank flying down the side, trying to make short side wide of Piazza. Behind the net, Attleboro trying to add to their lead as they work it around. There's Marshall's shot, save, save again by Spano. Approaching four minutes left in the period, in the game. In front. Great job by Her Hearn now. He tries to get something going late in the Attleboro end. Now Attleboro flips it out into the Brockton end. As Young goes down hard, him and Drujinx now in front of the net. Back in, Spano holds the fort. Now to his left, in front. He smartly poke checks it and holds on and will have a face off to his left. With three minutes and 22 seconds left in the game. See folks, I, I didn't add an extra 30. 4-0 Blue Bombardiers. All right, so here we go. Face off one by Attleboro. That's flipped high. So we so Granny, who already has two goals, is wondering why there wasn't a penalty on that. One by the bomb, it is flipped. That hit Granny right in the tailbone, that had to hurt. Now Brockton, Stoughton Brockton, trying to get something going, flipped and knocked down his Flinnery. Initial pass, and knocked in back in the Stoughton Brockton end at center ice, now in the Attleboro end. The Bombardiers trying to get another rush. There's Birmingham. Birmingham initially had it, didn't get that much wood on it. Attleboro goes up. That pass, and they're able to keep it in the Stoughton Brockton end. 240 left in the game. 4-0. Oh, there's a hard check. Hard check as Mahoney goes down. And Vera said, Welcome to high school hockey. Now Varus. Wide of Piazza. Shot in front, that's blocked down by the defenseman. There's a nice quick shot, save Piazza. Now Attleboro. Trying to get it out and kept in nicely by Stoughton Brockton. Brockton again with some late, late period offense here. Birmingham does a good job keeping it in. Birmingham's poke checked away. Attabar regroups, but there's a shot by Piazza. As initially McNutley, McNutley let one go, but flipped out. No icing called. Attabar changes it up, changes it up. McNulty, uh, Birmingham got, got, got tripped, no call. Quick shot by Piazza, he'll hold on. Right at center ice. So we'll have a stoppage in play. To the left of Piazza, officially 114 left in the game. Save Piazza, is able to knock that down. Now 
Now Stoughton Brockton trying to add some last minute offense. Moving, shooting, fanned on the shot. I think he waited too long. Here comes Stoughton. Here comes out of our quick shot. Save Spano with the glove. Great job, and on the rebound that went over his head. Crookshank redirects it into the Attleboro end. Attleboro will wind it up, try to get it out of their own end. There's a quick shot knocked down by Attleboro. As O'Connell initially let that one go. Now Attleboro in the, in the Stoughton Brockton. Nice block by the captain. And Polk checked and slowed down. And Attleboro will just skate around and end the game. And that'll do it. With your score, the Blue Bombardiers four, Stoughton, Brockton, the night boxes, nothing. We're gonna try to get a post-game interview with the goaltender. We'll be right back with more right after this. You're going to need me. You're going to need us. All of us. You're going to need our help with your water, your air, your food. You're going to need our determination, our compassion. You're going to need the next generation of leaders to face the challenges the future will bring. And we promise we'll be there when you need us. Hi, we're here with Ryan Spano. Kid, you played lights out besides four different breaks. I mean, the team definitely showed um, offense late in the second and late in the third. Yeah. We, I think that we did all right. We didn't do too good in the first period. We had a couple of defensive breakdowns. But offensively for the second and third, I think we did pretty good. Now, how did you feel about getting back between the pipes? Oh, I always love playing. I'm in the mood for the game literally all of the time. So whenever I hear him starting, I'm always energetic. Good, good job. I know it's not the outcome you wanted, but again, great job. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. All right, there you go. Your final score, unfortunately, Attleboro 4, Stoughton Brock, nothing. We'll catch you next time. Everyone have a great week.